hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to create a master calendar in clicksense backend to create a master calendar you will use these set of functions and to create that we are going to use a let which is a variable num function make date iter number auto generate function a while loop year function month function month name date resident load order by r and drop so order by if needed so to create that i have created a sample script here which let's start understanding the script so first we are creating a variable to store the dates so we have created a var min date and variable max date where i am creating a date using a make date statement which is from 2004 and till today which is 2023 october so over to here i am going to use auto generate to generate one line and using a while loop i am going to specify a logic for it so what i am trying to do here is i am converting the dates which are created as min and max date to number and then based on those numbers i am going to create the set of dates so these dates will be created by using iter number which is nothing but iteration number which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 it will go on increasing till your max state is satisfied this is the logic behind this and then we are just going to use the iter number minus one plus the minimum date what we actually have which is in number so it will give you let's say uh, 4484 plus let's say one minus one that means plus zero and it will give you the same date then it will increase one date then two three four five six like that so it is going to increase that and it will create all the dates and it will be stored in temp data and the same thing is something that i have just kept as number here okay so we are not going to use this number we have just kept it now using resident load here i am going to call my same table now i am starting started to create all the dates so using temp date i am just specifying date function again and creating the same date temp date then month name i need month i need and year i need i am just loading a distinct data and using order by i am just doing an a temp date ascending order by and you need to, you have to drop the temp calendar at the last of your script so let's go on and create R. so let's go on and create a calendar so over here i am going to remove all this data from here and create calendar now let's create let v main date which is make date let's say 2000 uh, 20 2020 01 01 and i am going to create the max date so max date will be let v max date is equal to today and let's use a keyword trace here in your backend and i'm going to call these variables here using dollar okay and a semicolon and i'm going to just remove my binary load because i don't need it and here i'm going to reload the script as you can see it is giving me from 01 01 2020 to 05 11 2020 
three. Okay, so trace will just uh, trace the data that you want to trace. So I have just traced that particular dates. So let's go on and create our temp calendar. Over here, I am going to say load date function as date and over here i am going to specify the min date and say plus iter number minus one and i am going to say another keyword called auto generate and i'll say auto generate a one line only one line or i can say one row till that means while loop now this this particular logic over here i am going to copy and paste which is going to be more than equal to this particular date okay now we have not converted into num so i am going to convert that into num here and now i will have num values here and let's see how it creates so it is going to create from 43831 to 45235 and as you can see these level uh, this much lines are generated so let's go to the model viewer and just check if the dates are loaded so as you can see these dates are created as i have already told you data validation is intent from the data model viewer you should go to your sheet and then create a table and then check for your data so this is my data which is the date and here i have all the dates here okay as you can see all the dates are over here now let's go back and over here i can actually do instead of this i can actually do a preceding load also which will say load date comma and i will start using the functions which i need and now as you can see we will have the month year month name for those as well you can actually add one more over here called date sorry it's a day to specify or get the day if you actually need that so i can just add day also so now you have the day also so instead of this you can actually do a preceding load but for demonstration purpose i have done that but you can actually format the resident load also in this way you can create your master calendar and by using this logic all the master calendars are actually created.